Hey everybody, this is Lindsay Smith and today, um, it's actually been a minute since I've made a video, but I wanted to go over how to add fireworks to your images since we are coming upon July 4th. Um, super fun holiday, it's actually one of my absolute favorites. And so this is the image that we will be working with. This is actually a stock image, but it's to help show you what you can do. Okay, so this, I'll show you what it was before. It's just a long Adobe um, stock image. Very beautiful model. Um, I'm going to go back to crop. And I'm going to select the background here because it's a little you know bright so we are going to color range we are going it might select her a little bit we'll see here Now that we have it selected, we have it cut out here. Um, we are going to make our own sky. So let's see here. here. Gradient. And I know it looks a little bit crazy right now, um, but we are going to fix that. Now this is a little different from the image that I did because I did blue and yellow. This time I'm using purple and orange but it's the same principle. We're gonna come over here to the vector mask and we're gonna grab our black soft brush and I am gonna change this blending layer. I'm gonna pull the opacity down a little bit. And then I want to paint this off the horizon a little bit. And if you're familiar with my videos, I do this um, with my images. I take the opacity down to about 20 or 30 percent on my brush, and I have the hardness turned off. And I just want to um, take it away from her. Now, the image is still really bright too bright really for fireworks but we are going to fix that you can either use the actions that are included to make your image darker I'm gonna play with the hand edits a little bit let's see here if she has, she has a little more hair but for the video's sake we'll turn the opacity down storm Sorry, my husky is going nuts. Okay, so opacity is down to 66. I think I like this. Um, again, you can darken your image with the action. Let me flatten this first. And then you can paint it off of her a little bit 
because that's what makes you know the fireworks pop I'm going to turn down my opacity to about 50 and with a soft black brush I'm just going to take it off her I'm going to go a little more take it off of her you can do it that way or um, I also like to go to my exposure and I turn up my gamma because then the, atten the color is still saturated everything still looks gorgeous um, the other way works too and it's super simple and again you would just paint it off of her and then come in here and just kind of paint it off wherever you want to and again my brush is at 50 but you can turn it to wherever you like um, and then if I had a little bit more time in this video I would probably where the sun was coming in on her hair here you could probably clone some of her hair that is over here and make it look you know like it is a little more like a sundown but this is to place the fireworks now there is one of two ways you can use the actions but if you're a little more familiar you can go to file and then place linked or embedded and then find where your fireworks are saved um, or you can use the actions place my fireworks and then again you would just find um, let's try some different ones that I didn't use. I think that one's pretty. And it will automatically change the blending mode for you as well. I'm going to place another... So many choices. Uh, I think I'm gonna go green this time because I think that's really pretty too. And it's super simple and it adds a little bit of fun to your image. Now as you can tell they don't have because the image is still a little bit too bright um, so you can always do more color. Make sure that your firework layer is selected. It just gives it a little bit more of a pop and we'll select the first one and then so it adds a little bit more and we can always as you can tell with the darker image they stand out a lot more but I don't want mine super dark like this Maybe I'll turn down to 25 mm. Turn down the wrong layer. We'll turn this one down. Okay, so now I'm going to come up to all of my firework layers and I want to merge them. Now, if this happens, because you, you don't have to merge them, I'm just merging them, you change your blending mode to screen. Add a vector mask by clicking this rectangle with the circle. And then with a soft black brush, we're going to paint it off of her face at 100%. And out of her hair. And if you notice, because you want it to look, you know, like the fireworks were actually there and going off. And um, if you notice the background and all of around her is super blurred and it's really creamy so we are going to want to blur our fireworks so come to Mom. blur my fireworks what babe don't do that okay. sister did it yeah and that's just at 5.4 pixels but as you can tell now they're creamy and blurred and you can change yeah. it to whatever but um the background is really creamy and I still want you know you to be able to tell that it's a firework and then that's pretty much it that's how easy it is to add some fireworks or Shh, Chloe that's how easy it is to add fireworks or sparklers to your images and I know it's not exactly as this one but I just did two different ones that were in the image. 
but continue to watch. I hope to be making some more videos throughout the week. Um, I accidentally deleted a lot of my files off of Dropbox, which took it off of my computer as well, um, which sucked because I was going to do this really cute image of my daughter, um, but I just don't have it anymore. Thanks for watching.